In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to create an animation for flipping of the pages from a book. And we'll use very basic and simple tools in Blender to create this animation. This tutorial was requested by one of our viewers, so here we go. We can start with a flat plane like this, and in order to give it a portrait shape like a page, let us change its X scale factor to maybe 0.8. And we'll also change the X location to the same 0.8, so that the left edge of this plane aligns perfectly with the Y axis. In the next step, we need to move its origin point to this end, where we have our 3D cursor, so while the plane is selected, go to the object menu and set origin to 3D cursor. Now we can hide this cursor since it's no longer needed for this tutorial, and we'll get a clear viewport. Then, we have to go to the edit mode. While everything is selected, right-click here and select the subdivide option. We can change the number of subdivision levels from here, let us go with 32, which should be good enough for our purpose, and then go back to the object mode. We have to add a rotation, or a rotary motion, along with a bending of this plane, in order to create the flipping page animation. So we need to add two empties here, one for the rotation, and another for the bending. This first empty is for the bending, so we need to change this X rotation to 90. And remember that these values will depend on the orientation of your axis. We can also reduce its size to say 0.25, so that it looks a little better in the viewport. Then we need to add one more empty for the rotation of the plane. So let's go to the add menu, and we'll pick up a cube this time, to distinguish between these two empties. We can reduce its size like before, but since we are going to use it as a parent, it's important that we apply its scale factors from here. In fact, we can rename this empty to parent, since we'll later need to duplicate it multiple times for the other pages. Now for this plane, expand the section called Relations, and here, we need to select that parent empty. Then the same thing has to be done for the empty, that we are using for the bending. Now for our cube empty, which we can also call as the parent, if we animate the Y rotation, the page will rotate like this. Let's change it to zero, and for frame number one, we need to insert a keyframe for this value. Then let's go to frame 100, because we will use 100 frames for complete flipping of one single page. Here we need to change this angle for the rotation, let's make it perfectly 180, and we need to keyframe this value. If we now play the animation from the beginning, we'll see that the page is turning over. But this is not complete yet, we need to also bend the page realistically while it's flipping. So select the page and go to the Modifiers tab. We need to add a modifier for the bending, and this is Blender version 4, so the options may look a little different if you are on an older version, but the modifiers are the same, we need to add a simple deform modifier. Let's go to the Bend tab, and then in this Origin field, we need to select our first empty. Now for the Bend axis, we have to select the Z axis. Because, although we want to bend this page around the Y axis, remember that we have rotated the empty by 90 degrees. But the bend direction is wrong, it should be the opposite, so we have to use some negative number here, in order to bend it this way. In the next step, we need to animate this action, the page should bend throughout the turning, and it should finally become flat. So for frame number 1, let's change this bend angle to 0, and keyframe that value. Then somewhere in the middle of the animation, say frame 50, we'll change this bend angle to minus 135, with a keyframe as usual. Then at the end of this flip action, the page should again become flat, so we'll change this angle back to 0, and keyframe this. Let's play the animation and verify it once. The flipping looks good and realistic, but it needs some improvements, because the page should ideally bend much more in the initial part, and then gradually become flat in the later part. So what we'll do is, let's go to frame number 15. Although the present value is just 26, we'll increase it to say 75, for a larger bend during the first few frames of the flipping action. Now the bend itself may look better, but the problem is, the page is now penetrating the floor. So we need to control the rotation of its parent, so that no such penetration can happen. Let's first select this parent object. The first keyframe for this is at frame number 1, where its value is 0. We'll go to frame number 5, and change this value to minus 5.5. There is no formula for this, we derive this value through trial and error. Then we'll go to frame number 10. Here, the value should be minus 22, with a keyframe. Finally, for frame number 15, we have to change this angle to minus 38, and insert a keyframe. Now the page should turn perfectly, without any penetration through the floor, 
so the animation part of a single page is now done. And for a smooth display, we can turn on the Shade Smooth option. Using this same technique for a bunch of planes, we can flip several pages from a book. Let's hide the two empties that we have added, so that our viewport remains clean. You can also add a suitable image for both sides of this page, so that it looks like a real page when we render the scene. Now we'll discuss how to apply this for a complete book, or how to do this for several pages of a book, flipping one after another. First we need to create a bunch of static papers, starting from a single plane. We can attach a geometry node to this plane, to create a stack of papers like this. The geometry node that we have used here, looks like this. We have discussed this node setup in another tutorial and the link is given below, where we have created a stack of dollar bills, so we can skip this part here. But these are static papers, they won't turn or flip, so let us unhide the original page that we have created earlier, which will turn from this side to this side. But it has got hidden under these static papers. And the height of the stack is 0.05 unit, so we need to move it up by that 0.05, in order to bring it on the top of these papers. But we'll actually move up this parent, so that the page as well as it's empty, both can be moved up together with the parent. So we can see that this page has now come to the top, but it is still overlapping with the top surface of the static paper bunch. So we need to again move it up slightly. This time, we'll move up the page directly, by say 0 .0001, a very small amount, and we have to do the same for the empty, which is linked to this page. This will ensure that the pages are in the reverse order, when they come from this side to this side. Now in the outliner, right-click on this plane, and select copy. Then again right-click here, and select paste, and you have to ensure that this is your active collection. So we'll see that a new object has been created here, called parent1. And under this, we'll see that a new empty and a new plane got created. For these new objects, we can see that the original values got copied as well, for both of them. And we can also verify that they have got the same animation keyframes, like the first page. Since this is our second page, we need to move these animation keys by 100 frames, so that it starts after the first page. Similarly for the new parent, we have to move the keyframes by 100 frames. Now we can hide the parent, and the empty. And one more thing, since this is the second page, and this is our first page, this first page should lie just above the second page, which is this one, so we need to move up this page by a small amount, so we change this to 0 .0002. And the same change needs to be done for this empty, which is tied to that first page. That almost completes our setup for two pages, and if we now play this animation, we'll see that the pages are flipping just as we wanted. You can add more such pages, or you can even automate this for many pages using a Python script. There are some more fine-tuning possible here. Like you may want this first page to properly touch the ground, which means, its left edge should come down a little bit more, instead of hanging in the air. So we have to select its parent object and then go to its last keyframe. We'll increase this angle to say 182. Now the page will perfectly touch the ground, which looks more natural, and don't forget to refresh the keyframe from here. Then similarly, you may want to change the second page, you may want this page to remain slightly folded, instead of being completely flat. So let's select this page, and just like before, we'll go to the last keyframe for the page itself. And let's say we change this angle to 20. We need to refresh or replace this keyframe. Then select its parent object, and we need to change its rotation angle, so that the page does not penetrate the other pages. We can use 172 for this, and then replace the keyframe. So now, if we play this, we'll get our final animation, where the pages will flip most realistically. You can add more such pages, and add some pictures for these pages, in order to get a result like this demo. If you are a member of this channel, you can also download the blend file of this tutorial, which can help you to create this on your own. So I hope it was fun and you'll like this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.